Well, as, as with all of us, my first uh, awareness of Manson came in uh, 1969 with, with the so-called Tate killings. And uh, I was a teenage kid sitting at home watching the news and the word flashed and a bunch of uh, Hollywood types had been uh, killed out there, presumably by hippie types. And of course, being a National Socialist in the 1960s, I was highly anti-hippie, but I was just as much anti-Hollywood. And so the only thing that flashed across my mind then was good. Couldn't have happened to a sweeter bunch. Mason, a one-time associate of the late American Nazi Party leader George Lincoln Rockwell, spoke of his fervent belief in Manson's cause. But it, it has to come from the people, from the blood, and it, it, it's a fortuitous genetic combination, as with Adolf Hitler. Who could have predicted Adolf Hitler? And who could have predicted Charles Manson? Coming from, uh, what, a 16-year-old runaway, unwed girl? In, in Kentucky and West Virginia, no education, and, and look, uh, look at the impact he has today. Leader is a convenient term, and so is family, but, but we have to stay with what can be most readily understood. Manson gave the people around him what they needed most. This is what they accuse Hitler of doing in his, in his speeches, touching every wound in the raw. He can have an audience of 100,000 and reach every member of that audience independently, separately. And, and uh, Manson did the same thing. 